Uh, hello, I'm Mark, um, and I'm happy to talk about uh, prompt sketching. In prompt sketching, we uh, post that uh, when you prompt a language model um, to complete a certain sentence, you might not only have a prefix, as you have a typical prompting, but you have multiple variables as illustrated here that you want to fill in. For example, here the language model should fill in all the yellow gaps, knowing that these violet words will appear in between. And now now the optimal way to do this would be to maximize the posterior probability of the whole filled-in sequence, but this is not feasible um, using autoregressive modes. So what we do instead is we propose uh, so-called sketch-aware decoders, which um, change the decoding process to approximately optimize posterior probability. And if you focus here on this chunk level beam search, we do this by doing beam search on two levels. We first do beam search on a token level for each chunk individually. For example, here decoding first, in this case, hopefully an animal that our model will fill in in this gap. And then after we've uh, predicted here both the animal and then the next word after jumps, then we'll kind of consolidate our hypotheses and select only those that make sense when taking jumps and uh, the into account. And doing this allows us to do implicitly some backtracking in our decoding tree, yielding much more uh, cohesive um, completions. And empirically, using some example sketches, this improves performance on a variety of big bench tasks by up to 10 percentage points, which is then 20 or more percent relative performance increase. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you need to somehow come up with this uh, database where you search on? So the search is simply standard, or relatively standard coding. You only need the standard LLM that predicts uh, next token conditional probabilities. Mm -hmm. So we don't need any special database or any fine tuning or any other modifications to the model. What you do need is now a prompt sketch. Kind of we have mm -hmm. a prompt in a different format instead of just having a natural language prefix. We now have this prompt sketch, which includes stopping phrases and basically these variable holes and then these deterministic chunks that will come later. So you need such a different prompt, but otherwise no modification. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think as a prompt engineer, this can become quite useful. So I face a lot of situations like this where I needed some some kind of template just filling filling this out basically automatically. Exactly. And you, you can somehow get uh, ChatGPT to do this already, but um, putting more constraints on the type of words and so on is something I was actually missing in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the we built this on LMQL, uh, which is a language for constraint decoding, uh, which solves some of these problems uh, of decoding individual uh, words or tokens. Um, and then, while this does not work anymore with the OpenAI API, since they've now removed access uh, to logits, at least in an efficient way, if you have better access to your models, and we evaluate this also on Lama 2, uh, then you can just use the code that we provide and use the prompt sketches okay. here that we also provide uh, for some popular uh, benchmarks. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.